Chipper Chaps. This is Chipper Chap Chat episode 114. Is it 114? Yes, it is 114. Your hair is pretty bananas right now. Dude. Well, it's how it is. You look like a crazy person. <laughs> I was just sticking up here. It it's all fine. over the place. It's fine. You got uh, so much of it now. I know. Anyway, uh, uh what up, Jeff, 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 14. I already and said I'm, that. <laughs> I'm Fure, I remember. Yeah. You are I'm Chamba. Let's talk about things. Yeah, um, well, let's talk about one thing specifically. Uh, Are it's been about this video too, or just audio. No, I'm doing a video right now, recording it. Just making sure. Just making yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, it's been about a fortnight since last episode, I think. Yeah, because we've been busy with like work and stuff. Yeah. And uh, we were going to record one earlier, but it's here now. Anyway, this episode is going to be about. Infinity War. Infinity War. It's yeah. about time. It's about time, about right? Yeah, we I actually. Feel like it's. I feel like. It, it, to be honest, I was kind of okay with waiting for a little bit because. Let it soak very, in. Let it soak in. One yeah. and two. It's it's a movie that you can't talk about without talking about a spoiler. All oh, right, right. So there was no point in like immediately dropping yeah, yeah. it because. You know, no one's seen it. Yet. I don't want to. I don't want to talk. I feel. I feel like I can't even talk about it in front of people now. Like not that I'm in front of people a lot, but yeah, yeah. I, I yeah. Just... I I basically I I can only talk to talk about it with people that I know who've seen it already. All right, right. And There's because this, I'm not can't sure, yeah. Vaguely yeah. describe anything that happens in it you without wanna... talking about something. Because I don't want to spoil it for anybody either. That's really right. it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. um and you know, since this one is supposed to be the Empire Strikes Back or whatever of Marvel movies, um, it seems very important not to tell people what happens because a lot happens. A lot. Um, you caught it Friday, correct? No, I got Thursday night. You got Thursday night. Nice, nice. Um, I caught it. Yeah, yeah, I caught it last week, and we both caught it last week. Yeah, and it's it was hard because it's like this is actually the first time we're gonna be talking about this. Yeah, we've not talked about it at, at all, other than just to be like, I liked it. Yeah, yeah, but like that. That's literally the first. Like, I think the first thing I said to you after I watched it was thumbs up, kind right, of thing, right. you know. But that's it, like silence. And um, Edwin was actually here oh, last really? week. Yeah, last week he was here for the Comic Con, right? And um, he was here when I went to watch it. If he had told me his schedule, we would have got him a ticket to watch it with us. Mm-hmm. But because he was, he didn't even know his schedule while he right. was here. We caught uh, me and my mate Iris caught it. And mm-hmm. after the film, I'm just like, I can't even say anything because he has <laughs> he ain't seen it. And he was like, Ugh, I want to know, but I I, I don't want to know. And I'm like. Don't worry, bro. Yeah, just, trust just, me. Just yeah, yeah. No, I don't, I'm like, and I like every now and then, like I'm just like, God damn, I want to say something, but I'm not gonna because you know, I don't want to. It, it's different than like uh, when when like Winter Soldier came out. If people had like spoiled the it, uh, Hydra is controlling Shield from behind the scenes thing, I would have been pretty mad. Yeah. but it would have been nothing compared nah. to pe- tell anybody telling me the information that happens in this movie. Like, it's not that I wouldn't believe it. But I'd be pretty upset to know ahead of time because it would it would have taken away some of that uh, some of that surprise, some of that shock. And I'm glad that they did such a good job of not showing a lot of what was in for the movie. real. Like, mind you, I don't know if you watched a lot of the TV spots. I didn't. I didn't watch it, like almost any of the. Yeah, TV I spots. I avoided every TV spot. I caught the trailers that were released, and that's it. Yeah. But, um, all right. How about we start off usual? Let's not basically get into too much of it it's hard it's though gonna be, it's that's gonna the problem not, like, that's what you, all right you just check it see, if you liked it i love it. rate it where do you rate it against the other marvel movies, okay maybe that's kind of um, all we can really see. but even yeah it, i loved it mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. um how do i rate it with the others it's bloody bloody high yeah it is it is very very high mind you it is different from other films because this one i feel that you do have to have knowledge of the previous films 
Yeah, I think more so with this one than any of the other mm-hmm. ones they've done because um, it's not just focused around no. the like core Avenger characters. It's like everybody. Civil War is probably the closest thing to it, but really the they only expanded to a bunch of other characters at that one airport. That's a, but that, that's also already appeared in Avengers. Right. You know well, what I mean, I'm, other than yeah, other yeah. than like they had like Ant Man and right, Black right, right, Panther right. and right. Spider Man at the time. But I mean, even those characters, like they only show up for that one scene. Whereas in this movie, there's there's characters throughout that are popping in and out and popping in and out. Oh, let and it so be. If you haven't, yeah. if yeah, if you've seen Cap, but you've never seen a Guardians movie, oh. it'll be kind of bizarre. Or if you've, you know, you've seen Guardians, but you've seen nothing else, or seen Black Panther, but you've seen nothing else, it might be kind of yeah. odd oh, going let... into the movie. That's the only reason I would rate it lower, maybe. Right, right. To be fair, though, I feel like, because um, on a stream earlier that I was doing mm-hmm. today, uh, somebody had asked us, um, should, they haven't watched um, Black Panther yet, mm-hmm. but I think they'd seen um, Civil War. Okay. And they were like, they want to watch Infinity War. It's like, should I watch, like, is it necessary to watch Black Panther? And I was like... I wouldn't say that it's necessary. I wouldn't say it's necessary. I get, it, it would help, like, it wouldn't hurt to watch it. But I don't think it would hurt to not at the same time. Like, you don't I, need I all that information. That the benefit of watching Black Panther first is just that you know who those characters are when the side characters show up. Right, but... Because, because, they yes. don't, because yep. a lot of the side characters... Absolutely, from these absolutely. Movies, like, uh, for example, they in the trailer, they show Spider-Man, uh, like, tap Genki or whatever, because he's also mm-hmm. on the bus with him. That's pretty much the only time you see him. Right. So if you haven't seen Homecoming, that that's just some random kid on the bus to you. Yeah. You don't know that kid. But if you've seen Homecoming, then you have an attachment to him because you know that you know that stuff. He's like that's great. <laughs> yeah, I feel His like this, you know, this movie kind His of line was great. is that throughout. So if if you know the movies, you're obviously going to benefit this film. With this one specific. This film felt like an actual event. Yeah, it felt like event, like the way that comic events are. Like, yeah, I, I don't know how much of the U.S. comics you read, but uh, when they do the event comics, mm-hmm. like like even Civil War, when they did the second Civil yeah, yeah. War two comic, uh, I think I had you read some. You of that did. I, I did. I was like, I was. Yeah, yeah, no. let's read it. I was like, oh I, my god, I did. I, I, I remember sitting on the beanbag or sitting, yeah, on, yeah, yeah, sitting on the beanbag reading it. Yeah, yeah. Because I was like, because you said to you had recommended to read it, so I was like, you know what. I'm going to read it. I'm going to actually sit down and read it. And because it, I mean, mind you, it, it doesn't hurt when the artwork is superb. Oh yeah. Mark has a great job on that. So one that's always a plus, but yeah. it felt like an event. Each of the yeah. characters felt like the, the characters, you know, it didn't really feel right. like they were written by, uh, like, I, I'm not really sure how, um, the screenplay was in this film. I, I did, I did hear that, um, James Gunn assisted with a lot in of the writing, Guardi- yeah, in writing the yeah. Guardians characters, which makes sense because well, but because it's like hearsay. I don't know. Yeah, if I, uh, I don't but, know how how true that is. I mean, but. with how the Marvel movies work, it wouldn't surprise me if you know they yeah, got they contribution no from everybody. Not to. Absolutely, they have no reason not to. and it's good that the characters still felt like the characters, if that makes sense. Like it, uh, seeing like especially seeing the Guardians. Because they're so they're such a different set of characters compared to they're, the others. They're a different flavor. Yeah, than any of the other but movies. they still felt like them. Yeah, because because the because the universe is still cohesive. Right, right. Even even if the characters get more and more mm-hmm. bizarre, the farther I, out you go, this film it was, still feels like one absolutely. universe because they all have kind of like even when they get dark, they all have like bright tones and whatnot. This so I don't know. I this, feel like they they just fit well. Okay, let's let's start talking into it, but. What do you think? Do you like this film? Yes, no. I like it quite a bit. I give it a thumbs up for sure. I, I can't say that it's a better movie than, like Winter Soldier. Only in that, like a like a movie works. Yeah, it works on its own. Like I think if you saw Winter That's Soldier, you've not seen Cap yep. One. It, it still, still works. works on its own. Yep. Whereas I don't know that Infinity War has yep. that luxury, but. If you are thinking of it like the MCU is all one big ass show, yep. This, felt, this like is a se- amazing. It felt like a season finale. Yeah, this, like this is the season finale mm-hmm. of the show. completely. This, 
Like, if, yeah, exactly, exactly. If this is a, if you're watching all the Marvel movies, yeah, then this is, this is phenomenal. This is, right, you, right. you can't even expect to have something like this. But as a film on its own, it does, it, you can't watch it just as a film on its own. You have to know, you have to know what's going on with the rest. Right. And, and I feel like up until this point, even all of the Avengers movies kind of were season finales yep. to the MCU seasons. Mm-hmm. Like they called them phases or whatever, but they really were seasons of TV mm-hmm. basically, but you you're leading up to right. the Avengers season finale. And this one felt very much like a, okay, you've, you know, we've, we've shown you uh, in age of Ultron, we've shown you a floating city what kind of more stakes can we give you? And they figured out a way to do that. Like, oh, yeah, you know? they they did. Anyway, so we can actually talk about this. Let's cool. All right, the real this is a spoiler episode, by the way, as usual. Uh, we'll so we'll have it in the title, so yeah. you know, watch it if you like the Marvel movies. Watch this film. Yeah. I'm sure you have already. If you have, if you haven't, maybe 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 it's time. maybe it is maybe it is time. And like, turn this off and don't listen to it yeah. because also it's a good it's, time. Like at this point. Good. You've got like 18 movies to watch prior to this. Right. You know, if you really want to get soaked into it. And it must have been nice for you too because you had done that. You rewatched it. Dude, right for real. And that's why this one was like, oh, oh, goodness. Like, I fell in love with everybody again, if that makes sense. You know what right, I mean? Right, right. You kind of reestablished yeah, everybody yeah. going into it. And so when I, when I walked into this, I was like, I don't know what to expect, but oh, I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited. I with Adam and Bridget or whatever, mm. and uh, did they like it? Yeah, they both li- liked it a lot. And and Bridget really doesn't like. She's not. She doesn't swoon over the Marvel movie. She likes them, but she's you know yeah. she doesn't think about them it, the way we do. Right. Uh, but she even liked it. And was like asking me questions, like how are they going to do this and that? Cool. Like, that's after, good. That's good. That's you know, excellent. So, you know, that's excellent. They seem interested to see however the however the movie resolves itself um, now. But uh, so let's get into it. Um, it started off basically picking up where um, Ragnarok's Ragnarok credit. ends, yeah. Um, but not right, right, not right that, after you, things there's occur. A couple, there's yeah. a couple like blaring, uh, empty spaces there that I'm very curious about. Mm-hmm. And as this is now for people who've seen the movie, it, it starts with uh, you know, the scene from the trailer of people stepping over the bodies in that Asgardian ship and Loki has to give up the test rack. Because mm-hmm, he uh, took it without yeah, anybody he took knowing. It the last one. So with Thanos there, like they've already established that he's been fucking up this whole ship full of people. But they, they wait until Thor is like getting his head squished and Loki is literally handing the stone over to be like, we have a Hulk. Where was Hulk? During when everybody was getting decimated, I wonder, like, was he just chilling? He's like, maybe he was yeah. stuck as the Hulk at the end, so he. Sh- it's yeah. not like he was banner hiding somewhere. Um, That's true. And but and also no Valkyrie, no Korg. No. So, you know, I'm I'm very curious. I don't think they're dead. I don't think they're dead either. Like, uh, it's it's easy for them to go. Valkyrie got on an escape pod because Thor said that half of the people yep, were dead. Exactly. The other yep. were somewhere. They flew off together right. because, as as it's explained through the film, Thanos only removes half. Basically, yeah. Wherever he goes, he kills half of you and he dips. Randomized, random. Yeah, he doesn't care who he you are. He doesn't care who you are. Kills just, half and then half Thanos is gone, and that's it. Yeah. Um. So we don't know where they are. So that was a little like, and I'm sure people are like, Ugh, this is shit because they didn't explain where they are. It's like, oi. I don't think it's shit, but it, I, it was just something I definitely Honor. noticed when it, when it started. I was like, "Well, I see a bunch of yep. bodies. I don't see Valkyrie anywhere. Right. Uh, so I don't it's see safe to assume either. Out. Yeah, exactly. That's why I was like, it's safe to assume they've managed to escape. I mean, right. Otherwise, they probably would have focused on a dead body. Yeah. So Hulk shows up, starts yep. fighting Thanos, and you're it like, gets... "Okay, we get to see this right away." They're going to drop awesome. the Hulk fight Thanos right oh, at the beginning, which was huh? great. And then Thanos just starts fucking molly bopping him, throwing cop. That fight hits. was sick. <laughs> it was it was sick. It was short, but it was it was, it was short, cool. but it was because at first you saw, "Oh, Hulk is getting in some licks." 
He's hitting yeah, him and stuff. He was kind of letting it happen. Then That's why he, Thanos, no, one of the, the first hit Thanos does, he hits Hulk in the th- yeah, throat. Yeah, he just, he just he's basically... Like, oh, and I was like, what the... We've never heard Hulk make before. He was like, oh! Yep. <laughs> the whole fight. All I remember was, was that, that wicked knee to his face. Yeah, I was yeah, like, ooh, was this is like and some Hulk back shit. Up into uh-huh. a pillar and it breaks. Very kind of like superhero fight you want to see them break so and good. stuff. So good. But at the same time, like as dope as it was to see Thanos wreck Hulk really quickly, it, it posed a couple questions for sure. me. Bring it up. I'm like, if Thanos is so strong, he could take out Hulk in a couple hits. Yep. Anybody else that he's fighting in this movie should be like obliterated on impact. Uh because like there's a there's a couple scenes later Except Thor. Except for Thor, and like maybe you could justify him hitting Black Panther and his suit absorbing some right. of it or something like right, that. Right, right, right. But like Cap takes a hit from him later in the movie, and you're like, he just took that punch. He just took that punch. <laughs> Cap no, should but... be like caved in. Did you see what Hulk's kick did yeah. to Blonsky? And that wasn't even like yeah, yeah. um that wasn't even like him trying. I gotta <laughs> say also, there was there's certain parts in this film where I'm like They've definitely overpowered. They've they've kind of clocked people's power levels a little bit higher than they would technically be, right? Or like, lowered uh, some people, or like... lowered some like black like Black Widow for example. Oh yeah, because she's taking out those the the Black Order. The Black like, Order, and I'm like, um, they should be. Like I get it. She's supposed to be a legit yeah, yeah. fighter, but she but... shouldn't have strength to right really be gamora famous. sure if it was gamora yeah. fighting them yeah gamora that different. i would get I'll, like gamora or nebula right. I'd get, it, I get i understand but i i feel like because she's one of the og avengers like right. she's they one have, of the original yeah. they make her just way more op than but she should to be. the point where she's like super soldier right exactly that's and, if, and like... if they if they want to say she is that then go ahead cool. and say that right that's exactly but because it. they haven't uh-huh. it's kind of weird all you got to do is establish it with a, a line and yeah. it would basically, it would answer the question that's already lingering in my head. You know what I mean? Right, right. It's just and little it, things like that. Yeah, just a couple like mm-hmm. power level. Yeah, I'm just like, yeah, like oh. okay. Because like, uh, like Vision, I expect it to be much stronger because right. of how they showed him in Age of Ultron. Right. You expect like he like he couldn't even be in the fight in Civil War because nope. he would have ended everything so quickly. Yada yada. Mm-hmm. And then. He kind of really like if Black Widow is serving these Black Order guys. Yep. Vision is is like running for his life, scared of these things right. for the majority of the movie. And granted, I know they want his stone, but he still has that thing. He I should know. be like doing stuff. That's why know? I was a little bit like weirded out because I'm like, I understand like uh, Scarlet Witch. She's right. powerful, and she was shown as powerful. But right. the but on, their on, power on the opponent, from that's the what same I'm place. exactly. That's what I was like. In Civil War, they were on opposing sides. Right. Vision is supposed to be that level. He's supposed right. to be that guy that's not human strength. Exactly. He was, and his body's supposed to be vibranium. That's leave. the part that I was. And he got gutted in the very beginning. I'm like, how did that work out? Space. Well, in my in my head, this is how it worked out in my head. I don't know if not explained, so it's probably wrong. But I'm like, uh-huh. all right, vibranium is a substance from space. We don't know what the Black Order's weapons are made of. It could be something of something, something like that's, that. That's that's fine if that's the yeah. case. But the Black Panther shit shouldn't have been useful then because right. the stuff is the same shit. Again, little things. It's hard. Yeah. <laughs> what they achieved in this film is so beyond anything yeah, that, like these that's are, been these done are, by. We're anything. just getting these quibbles out of yes, the way because the rest of this is just exactly. this BS masturbating all over how literally because like movie was. And, and check it a lot of these little questions that we have a lot of these little things these little things that niggle us right. they're not to the point where it's like oh this film is completely shit now no obviously not obviously no, no, not. Like, these are just the little things that i that yes I the little things that we pick up on. after yeah and that's that why it's kind of good it's just yeah. like little uh-huh. sprinkles throughout a movie where i was like Ooh, right, right the whole time <laughs> it's almost like um <laughs> glitter Right. As opposed to you know next to di- next to shining diamonds. Right, right. Somebody we sprinkled don't... some glitter next to a pile of diamonds. Yeah. I'm like, hey, that I noticed that glitter there, but yeah. also diamonds. Also diamonds, precious yeah. diamonds. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't make sense. But these are so little things compared to something that's so much bigger. For but sure. so yeah, and it's so and, then... it, and it's also kind of good that we are speaking about this film 
days after so that you know because yeah, if we spoke about this right after we yeah would just we just like, like, oh, 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 oh. yeah exactly it'd be amazing but you know it still is amazing and we'll and there is only one scene that uh that i really felt like could go but we'll talk about that when we we'll when talk we about it. I, yeah so they got rid of that like the hulk thanos fight that was pretty cut that out of the way he got essentially hulk is frightened as shit <laughs> Yeah, like for the whole rest of the movie, it's him like too scared to even yeah, fight. He's just at yelling, all. No. Even if Thanos isn't in the fight, he's no. like, "No, nah, no, nah, I'm good. I'm, I'm not good. coming back out." I've like, never fought anything with... like this, basically. Yeah, like he just he just fought uh, Thor in the last movie, mm-hmm. where you know Thor unleashed like full God mode punch. Essentially, on him, he's God now, and that didn't scare him. Afterwards, they were still just talking like buddies. Mm-hmm. He got. Punched on the throat and kneed a couple times by Thanos, and he's wrecked. He's like not doing it anymore. You know, I think it would have been really effective if they just gave like Ruffalo like a shiner throughout the rest of the movie. Like he took damage as Hulk. Yeah, I think and that would have been really and it affected yeah. Banner as well. <laughs> it actually hurt Banner. Yeah, that would be interesting because that yeah. would be interesting. But, but anyway, so they pretty much go straight from that to the uh, the like Scotland stuff, right? With Vision and uh, mm-hmm. and which and scarlet witch and they show like you know everybody it's so funny like if we go back i feel like if we look at people's speculation of what this movie was going to be <sighs> and be about dude it'd i be actually so have funny because it's going to be so wrong I'm i sure. have like i've watched a couple of like uh because I, I follow a bunch of like uh people on youtube and stuff like that right and right. they've done their own like minor speculations on like what the stones are and um all right. this How like gonna use this or, yeah like, it's like and so and so and like so far, so far of all the ones that I've seen, not even freaking close to what this movie is. Did we talk about what we thought was going to happen in the film? I don't War? think we I did. Remember. We didn't. We didn't. I, I think the only thing we about. basically said was, "Wouldn't it be cool if in the end Thanos just wins?" <laughs> right. <laughs> it's like I don't know if they do that. Like that's a big snap. Huh? But I also we did say we thought it was going to end with the snap, but I also felt like they, after we talked about that. They kind of like, not gave it away, but they like forcefully told us over and over again that it was going to be the snap. Like all the average, all the trailers, they had like Gamora going, he's going to wipe everything out just like that. And they emphasized it. And you're like, See, okay, well, that didn't even register in my some... head. Right. But I don't know how familiar you were with that bit from the comics even, because that's an old ass. I know. I, like I was, but I'm like, I don't know if they'd do that. Like, well, yeah, well, you know, my clearly. exposure to Thanos was mostly from the Capcom game. So all I, all I knew about power wise really about him other than, you know, the shit I've discovered since was like, he could make bubbles happen. Cause he did that in Marvel versus Capcom or whatever. He which could like great. trap people in bubbles. And which is like great. <laughs> and I knew he was all about the infinity stones. Cause all the, that those games were, that was the point of it. So, you know, I knew that stuff going in and like a vaguely how the stones could be used because of how they did his powers in the game. Uh, but like I didn't hear about the like snap stuff until probably a couple years ago, like when they were like the movie's going to be called Infinity War. And then people started talking about it. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, you know, even me and I'm like big Marvel head. I don't I didn't read those old ass old, it's old odd. Marvel yeah, books. I didn't read any of that crap. It's um but it was, it's cool just to see them go for it. And I, and I like that they didn't adapt it completely. No. They didn't go like, they didn't, you know, everybody was talking about, and fucking Hela is going to be in it. Adam Warlock. I, well, they everyone said kept saying ago, Adam, Adam Warlock, Warlock's man. not going to be in it. Yeah, I know. But then everyone's still like, I don't know, maybe there'll be Adam Warlock. He's supposed to be one of the guys. And I'm like, no, I mean, James, James, James Gunn, Gunn said already, he's like, he wants, he's going to be the main thing for the third one. Why would right, you? Right. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah. It's funny to hear people speculate about that stuff and then end up being completely fucking like, wrong. No way. Even hell is going to be death and he's going to be in love with her and yada, yada, yada. And it's like, do no. all these things. I mean, they could still, they could have, but I feel like they, they supplanted the death iconography with a different character and we'll get to that later on too um but there was another cameo that i feel like was put in this movie just to have the visual imagery of the death character which was cool it was cool but it was kind of whack too (laughs) 
<laughs> they didn't even get Hugo Weaving back. Well, they couldn't. For why couldn't they? It was wanna. no. That that's lame. Who they got though? He's a he's a cool dude. He is, but I I could tell it wasn't him even when I was watching. It, it was fine. Game. I didn't. It didn't. I didn't. I wasn't like oh bullshit. I was because well, I was yeah, like okay. I was like he came back and is clearly a CG character. They couldn't just have him do voiceover. Yeah. He didn't even have to wear the makeup, and that was apparently his problem with doing it the first time. Especially but, these yeah. days with. You can literally just have the yeah, dots. Yeah, that's what it was. It yeah, was yeah. just a mocap effect. So you don't even like he can wear a suit and have the the dots. That's it. I don't know. Right. The, a lot mean, of things can easily be solved, anyway, especially these I guess days. that we're getting gives that far. Right we're here. gonna talk about. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> we finally got our like they threw Red Skull in the movie, which thing was I think I I liked it. I liked years. it. I liked the inclusion. It's just. A bummer that it wasn't hit like the actual res. It was to, to me is just as much a bummer when we got to Iron Man two and it was John T- Don Cheadle. Yeah, Don Cheadle's fine, yeah. but it takes away from it because it's not sure. Okay, the roadie that we right, started right. with. You know, it's not the same. But guy. in that sense, also, I'm not as bummed because it's still the character. As sure the actor is missing, in, but was I would even argue it? that because do you think the ver the the what we saw of Red Skull that's the same character the Red Skull that we saw because I don't think that it is it's like in this version of the movie he's like a sentient just floating yeah, head because with a he's no longer because Red Skull is essentially done he's no longer gonna be Red Skull this is just it this is what he is now yeah but that's a bummer to me because of course because I always as, want Red Skull to be the villain for Cap. That and we've been talking about for a gajillion billion. Yeah, that all was... these characters that they've been killing off I have not wish, been really yeah. dying. They just get sucked into the stone. So I was that's, like, yeah, maybe in this next one they'll have a bad that way you can have team. bloody Ronan still. Ronan, Ronan, Ronan the accuser. Oh, I thought you were talking about Ronan. What Ronan. we're gonna see out of uh, Hawkeye eventually? No, no, not that Ronan. Speaking of which, Hawkeye not in it, Ant Man not in it. Explained no. away with just one line of dialogue or Still, whatever. Still, at least they letting us come know because they've got families. Letting us know that's fine. Right, and we kind of already knew that because the original Ant Man trailer they said we're under house arrest. We've been here, yada yada, yeah, yeah. Uh, since Civil War, Plus, and we'll talk about why we knew it couldn't have been after the movie. Once we get to that point, right? But anyway, so. There's the movie is done in this kind of vignette style, so it's it's kind of even hard to talk about sequentially because it's jumping all over. Because the there's really like at this point, you can a lot of these things could be happening at the same time, right? And I think that that was the case, and um, I liked it because that way it didn't cut like having all of them, you know, having giving us little samplers of each mm-hmm. helped in following the story. What did you think of the Black Order, just as an entity? What do because there was a lot of build up towards the Black Order, the children of Thanos, how they would be used. A lot of people thought that one of them was going to be Peter Dinklage. That ended up not being the case. Um, they were fine. I liked the characters. I thought the uh, the guy who could move shit with his mind was cool. Yeah, yeah, I thought Ebony Ma. He was the he was the like wizard one. Yeah, he was probably the coolest one. He was easily the coolest one, and it could, and I know he was because he was the only one I was bummed when he died because I was really kind of hoping he was going to be one of the longest throughout. lasting ones. Yeah, I mean, I gotta say, every character in general kind of got a good showing. Well, for the most part, I mean, of the Black Order, you mean Black Order, Black Order, yeah, yeah, but also I just the like Avengers the, themselves. Oh, the the Ebony Moore guy, he got the most. I he feel had, like the one with the lance. The guy with the lance yeah, yeah. that was in the fight with in the subway because he got stabbed with, with his own weapon. Yeah, I feel like he was the only one that was kind of garbage because he, he he got fucked up with his own weapon mm-hmm. and then was like, "I can't move." And then we never saw him again. They were like, oh, "He we died." Did. Off yeah, no, no, we saw him after when he tried to uh, kill off um, Vision. Remember when when Vision's mind was uh, getting transplanted in Wakanda? He's the one that went up there. To try Who's, and kill him. Which one died then? Because they at the beginning of that fight. No, no, Wakanda, they said he died. They said that he died, but he didn't die. Don't you remember that scene? Because I remember the the Cause, lady. Because when Shuri, because when yeah, because when Shuri was moving, um, was shifting around. Yeah, I remember Vision's that fight. Thing. But I'm trying to see if that's even who they were talking about. Then, yeah, that's the guy. Because 
Why That's would the they guy. say he was dead if he wasn't dead then? Because because that way the people, the Avengers didn't know that they had another guy that was gonna go for Vision when um Scarlet Witch went off to try and fight the rest of them. I don't know. It just seemed like why do they even need to like hide their hand? They showed up and they were so like, "Here's our ball." So they, they didn't seem like they cared no, enough. They, they they even mentioned she's got a yeah she got a line and that's why um when um uh when they saw Scarlet Witch go down they were like oh, okay he that's why he's like cool that's his sign to go up there to, mm. to kill off Vision and so that's what he tried to do and that's what okay, Vision was I thought that line of dialogue was real weird. I yeah, was like, no, no, no. Why, did they, why did they say one of them died off camera? And then I was like, I'm pretty sure I saw that dude later. Yeah, yeah, he was there later. But they, they had a they line where she's like, you'll pay for you'll his pay, life. Yeah, exactly. That's basically, like that. It's basically saying, oh, so it's, it almost gives them like um, confidence. Like, oh, we took one out, I guess. So right, now we don't right, have right. to worry about him anymore. But clearly yeah. they did because he was fucking But even, even still, I, I feel like pretty much all yeah, of them. Yeah, he was the them, weakest of the lot. Pretty much all of them, as imposing as they were kind of scripted to be, kind of got like of like obliterated easily. Easier and yeah. easier than I thought they would be. Like uh the the kind of big ass Hulk one. Uh which had I mean, that he, weapon that with the chain. Right. Which seemed kind of OP. He was smacking all kinds of yeah, people dude. with that shit earlier. But it wasn't really killing anybody. He he fought Hulk in the he fought Banner in the Hulk Buster, which everybody was like Banner's getting tackled by that thing. He's going to bust out of the Hulk buster and be the Hulk or whatever. Didn't happen. Never saw the Hulk again. Uh, they tricked us, though, because they had that Wakanda scene in the trailer with yeah. Hulk running. He wasn't even there. Dude, trailers? Fact, figures of Hulk for this movie. Yep. He's not even in it, basically, except for he's the, in very, at the start. Yeah, yeah. very beginning. He gets served for a second. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's basically that's what the figure's for. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> essentially, these... the. Trailers don't but don't even believe trailers at this point anymore. Oh, not for Marvel. They're too yeah, good yeah. At, at bullshit. Like stuff. that's why as cool as this Ant Man and the Wasp trailer is, I'm just like yeah. That one's I most know. likely. I, don't know. I feel that Ant-Man one is most Wasp, likely. Yeah, yeah. They don't have to hide as exactly. much. Exactly. I feel that I well, the stuff that they're hiding, they ain't showing. Right. We're not gonna see that. Yeah, it's that simple with that one. And even, right. it's funny though, because even that scene where I felt like they were hiding the weapon, remember when I was like, Thor does yeah, that yeah. thing where he keeps the air in the air. Scene's not even in the movie. Yep. So even if it had the axe, we don't get to find out. Nope. Uh, they did the same thing with uh, the scene where that was the other one. I was like, I saw something where I know they edited something, but we can't talk about it because it's kind of a spoiler. Is uh, Peter Quill's fighting later on on Titan. Uh, when they have the battle against Thanos and uh, Doctor Strange is making all the like portals for people to like jump yep, through, yep, yep. and Peter Quill like puts a bomb on Thanos and then jumps through it, doing yep. the flipping the bird. In the trailer, he just holds his fist up and then jumps yeah, yeah. through the portal and yeah. doesn't make any sense. But, like, that's, why it's that's like, hilarious. No, he's doing something for that. That but, dude, that fight scene was so cool. Fight scene was cool. Like, I mean, I've at this point, people, we don't even like, have to talk about, about the order of it. We just talk about stuff yeah, from the film, really. That. Yeah. Uh, Doctor Strange is legit. I loved his like climactic battle with Thanos at the end. He's how he talks as to a, Tony as well is great. Yeah, because they're both like yeah, alphas. They are, know, so. but he gives no, and like it's almost throwing Tony off his guard because he's like, what the like what? But like legitimately, Doctor Strange is like the magic version of Tony. Yep. Like is is deeply. As, as deep into it as Tony is going the tech way, like Strange is the same thing going the magic way. What, what, what we didn't get to see, though, unfortunately, was Shuri talk to Stark. Oh, uh, yeah. But, you know... We did get we did get Banner that. talk to Shuri, and she's yeah. like, why don't you just do this? And he's like... We didn't well, think about it? Yeah, it's like... She's just like, the fuck? <laughs> you guys are uh-huh. dumb. <laughs> Which was interesting. I like that they kind of tried to show the little things like that but like literally that's kind of the only scene we get of mm-hmm. shuri some of these characters some of the side characters we only get a couple lines of dialogue from uh which is still not bad like it still feels very balanced you know i don't think i from anybody really was like oh they were underserved like i've, I've heard people saying that like cap was underused in the movie and I felt like his stuff was fine to me. Like I feel like he had it still yeah he, they're part of that like kind of secret Avengers group. Exactly. Uh, he and, shows up and, and does also, a couple things, but we haven't gotten the that's right the, the of Tony and, and Cap. Again. That's that's what like they 
Exactly. Yeah, but they didn't even talk on I the know. phone. Banner did. It was Banner. And it happened off screen. Yeah. So, and that's why Banner's yeah. like, wait, you guys are uh, fighting? Yeah, so it's it's going to be a leading mm-hmm. towards the originals yep. all coming back. That's why, because... I mean, in the end, it's kind of... So let's, let's talk about the other ones before we get to the sure. actual snap consequences. Uh, Thanos, uh, that bloody Thor... Thor the and first, the Guardians is so close first together. Death in the movie, <laughs> oh. unfortunately. Oh yes, it was uh... Black Dude goes first, as as often happens in these sorts of movies. Best friend. <laughs> uh, which was annoying to me because we'll we'll talk about that too. So they killed Heimdall mm-hmm. uh, because he made the mistake of sending Banner back to Earth in time to warn Doctor Strange because he can see everybody. He knows Doctor Strange, I guess, is the one to send it to. I know in the comics Smart. that. I know in the comics that scene happens in Infinity Gauntlet, but it's uh, Silver Surfer who gets knocked into the Sanctum Sanctorum okay. um, and warns them about Thanos. Could you imagine Silver Surfer in this film? Fuck. Yeah. It would have been the coolest shit, yeah. but we're not going to see any of that shit for another few... I, I, yeah. I think two or three years. I think two, three years to be safe, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so anyway, um, Lost Time Doll at the very beginning. Mm-hmm. That was, that was uh, rough. It, it made me sad though because you know after Thor meets up with the Guardians, they're having this kind of heart to heart because he bonds with Rocket. Yep. And uh, and Rocket's like asking him, he was like, "Oh, your brother died." And he's like, "Yeah, what about your uh, the rest of your family? Your your dad?" He's like, "He's dead. Mom's dead. Best friend, he's dead too. He got stabbed." When when they said that line in the movie, when he said "best friend's dead," I immediately was like, "I thought he was talking about Coulson." Yeah. And I was like, that seems weird that he would consider Coulson mm-hmm. his best friend because he said stab through the heart, and I didn't think Heimdall. He then was, I was like, though. but then I was like, oh, maybe he's talking about one of the Warriors Three. Why is just one of the Warriors Three right, his best friend? Also, why does he not mention any of the Warriors Dude, Three in this? Th- yeah, that's the part that I've like, and that I, well, because they were supposed to be his friends since he was a kid. I think the difference and now they're being, all dead. And it doesn't matter. The difference being is that he was present when Heimdall got stabbed. He wasn't even there when the Warriors Three got offed. Legitimately, though, yeah, I feel like Warrior Three died in that movie because they weren't needed. Yeah, for... absolutely, dude, absolutely. It just would have been harder to explain. Although I really feel like if We're they had safe. survived somehow, if they had survived somehow and made it to the ship, and Thanos killed all of them, not oh, just Heimdall, yeah. way more effective. Absolutely, absolutely. Essentially, the Warriors Three were fodder for Hela, right? And, you know, like you were mentioning, we still don't know what happened to Sif. She just wasn't in that I movie. hope she's having an adventure somewhere with um, Beta Ray Bill. I hope so, too, especially now that we have Beta Ray Bill's weapon in the MCU because mm-hmm. the Stormbreaker is his weapon. Yeah. So Which is maybe uh, maybe eventually... <laughs> Which is like the dopest. It, Beta Ray Bill. it is dope. It kind of was like comically large. It was once they like showed it in action, yeah. but it was a sick weapon. He was murking everything. He with was it. destroying everything. And since we're talking about the Stormbreaker, well, let's get to that scene that I really felt like I didn't enjoy as much. It was the giant Peter Dinklage. Uh, he didn't like. The, he didn't like the... giant Dinkle. No, I didn't. <laughs> the giant dwarves. Uh, you don't like giant dwarves. I know that that is accurate to the book. Yeah. But when I've seen those characters in the book, they're like huge yeah. dwarves with like, you know, they're like like, you know, like trolls, like mythical trolls, like, you know, big things. They're stunted. Yeah, yeah. But they're, you know, they're huge right. monster they're things. They're not just armor. they're not just enlarged not just little people. people. But but 8 feet tall or yeah, whatever yeah. it was. It was real bizarre. It was real I, You know what looking. though? Credit to them for even just attempting that. I, but I was like super hoping he wasn't gonna, because I, you know, there's all these rumors like if he's getting this weapon, these dwarves are the ones that made them in the comics or whatever. And I remember them from the cartoon. Yeah, yeah. But it was just, it was like, man, I hope they don't get Peter Dinklage in the MCU and just be like, you're a fucking, you're right. a dwarf. Have be someone more useful, right? But, right. So the, yeah. when they were saying like maybe he was because there was a lot of speculation that he was playing the Black Order guy with the spear, the one I thought was dead. Okay. Yep. Yep. Because there's some line, the line where she's like, get up. And he's like, I can't. Everyone was like, that's Dinklage. You can hear it. He sounds just like Dinklage on Game of Thrones. Okay. And I was like, hmm, that'd be cool if that was him. Because it's, it's voiceover. It doesn't matter. You uh, know? Right. 
then uh, he's a giant dwarf, and I super didn't like that. I really didn't like it. It, I, it did that didn't, and it just went on. It just went on for. I feel like it would have been just that scene would have been just as effective if he showed up there and all of the dwarves were already dead, and he just had to figure out how to run that forge with Rocket and Groot. I and guess. that's why they needed the handle thing for him to do it because it was them who ran it. They didn't know where that shit right. was. But even Dinkles didn't know where it yeah. was. Yeah, but I feel like it would have been just as effective yeah. without him. And instead, we had to look at giant Peter Dinklage. I'm fine with it. it. Like, I the think second it's time neat. I watched it too, I was like, this is fine. But I have a, I know that in a few years, once this movie has kind of been out for a while, this will be the scene where we're like, this didn't need to be there. <laughs> Like that's gonna be the one people talk about. It didn't ruin it. It didn't ruin it at all. But it was just a, the one scene that I'm like, nah, yeah. I could. I, I, I clearly that. don't have an issue with it as much as you are having right now. That's fine. I don't know. Though. That's I fine. I don't even think that I'm having an issue as much as you think I do. I just well, I mean, you're <laughs> talking about unneeded. it like I'm not saying I was like, oh fuck this movie now. Right, it was right. just more like I can't unsee that this is just Peter Dinklage. I can't think of him as a character that's this forge guy i'm just looking at giant it's Peter also Dinklage. it doesn't it doesn't help that we didn't get an example of what the actual race looks like. right like what the rest yeah, of yeah. them look like because if they all that. look like that it would have definitely eased that it didn't or it to would've... even or right. to even see what the forge and stuff what functioned like before they mm -hmm. destroyed it so you're not just seeing a giant mm -hmm. hobo version of peter dinklage running around just, with metal hands or whatever because yeah. he just had the big metal mitts yeah, he had or the whatever. big metal mitts because because <laughs> thanos so silly, cause thanos dude. basically sealed these hands it, it looks so silly um but yeah so after they it ended up being fine because once they get that weapon it's dope but man that scene didn't prior to that uh thor meeting the guardians was great his banter with star lord is great yeah, them like calling him out for being fat was pretty funny. And uh, Drax is awesome. <laughs> yeah, Drax is like man crush <laughs> you, on him. You can't see amazing. me because I was. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. He's like, my movement is so still that I can become invisible to the eye. Gamora and Quill are fantastic. Dude, I have such like a I have such a crush on for Tom real Clementev or whatever. Yeah, name as is, Mantis she plays Mantis. She's I, adorable, just, dude. I think that she's incredibly. She is adorable. adorable. The scenes where she's just hop, like she's bouncing, right? She's just jumping on time. Yeah, and you can see like just, just spot I, Peter Parker really, just kind of looking. Right. What I really liked was when they showed up uh, to nowhere to get to the uh, the collector because they were trying mm -hmm. to get the stuff he had, and when they're all like sneaking up, Peter like throws his she's arm like up to make them stop behind heads. him. Yeah, and she's like <laughs> she's, walking yeah. like this. Yeah. <laughs> And I was like, I love it because they're like showing her walk like a mantis yeah. would walk. But that's, I just like liked yeah. her little sneaky walk. It was so gangster. I was like, man, that's tight. It was like such a small yeah. character thing. But, but every I, I every character it. was their characters. Like right. they they kind of that's why it was like this was it was done well. Like the scenes that were the Guardians, it felt like, oh cool, I'm just watching another Guardians film. One of the things like that that I loved was you know they they took some like um imagery you could some of the stuff that would show up i'd be like obviously that is taken from a comic or something like that where they tried to like lead up to it and one of the big ones for me which was a great scene too was on when they're having that big battle on titan great fight. uh thanos is like he's doing the, he's doing there's like one effect thing where they were showing it where i'm like i'm not even positive what's happening there but he was like throwing this purple blast and like at one point, a bunch of the I think Drax and a couple other people like jump at Thanos, and he does like a purple blast, mm -hmm. and they kind of stop in yep, midair yep. for a second. And then I was like, I don't know what he did, but I thought at first he was like slicing them in half because it showed right. it come out yeah, like yeah, a yeah, line, yeah, yeah. like a laser line, but it just kind of stopped them. But then they go like floating off, so I'm assuming that was like he removed their gravity or something. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what happened, but Spider Man goes and like retrieves them all. Yeah. And uh, one of the scenes that they changed from the trailer is they showed like Spider-Man flipping yep. through all that debris. But in this version, he's got the arms out yep. and he's uh, and he's got Mantis and yep. like protecting yep. her from mm -hmm. all the stuff. 
and the scene that they get to at one point is when he first catches Mantis, his arms come out and he like rolls. Rolls, yeah, yeah. Ground, great, like, great shot. To protect mm-hmm. her. And when he stops, he's cradling her. Like a spider. His arms yep. are, are holding him up. And I'm pretty positive that that is supposed to be a playoff of that. The, there's a Michael Turner shot of him kind of floating upwards with the arms oh, holding yeah. up. I and can he's see that. Like caps. Cap shield or yep, whatever. I, could, yep, and I was yep. like, I'm pretty positive yep. that's a reference to I can that, see that image because it's the most well known image of oh, Iron that's Spider right, yep. with the mm-hmm. fucking arms out. So like little stuff like that, I thought was really cool. Like looking for that little yeah. imagery that they would throw in. There's a lot of cool like, shit. The Doctor Strange fight on on Titan where he's dude. got like all the extra arms dude, start that showing was up. So cool. And he, and he does the fucking the uh, like the fucking Naruto. Yeah, the, uh, the jutsu. jutsu. Yeah, the clone <laughs> jutsu. And all the whips came down. <laughs> right. That was so sick looking, dude. I know everyone's like right now. I know when people are talking about this film, they're like, "Man, Peter Quill screwed it up for everybody." I'm like, I'm pretty sure Strange knows exactly what's Strange saw all this. Yeah, because he literally, yeah. when they get there, he's like, I've seen 15 million versions of Yeah, I've seen like 14 scenario. plus million. We went in one of them. And yep. then at the end, he was like, this was the only way. So mm-hmm. I have to assume that means this was the exactly. one that would work. Is they had to fail yep. this battle. Just to win the war, you have to fail this battle. And it's like, right. he knows what's exact. He knows exactly how this is going to be resolved. Right, like I'm sure as it went along, it would mm-hmm. only fill in more of the blanks of him going, "This is the path we're on." Yep, I have to give up this stone in order to get there. I have uh, to do all this. Peter has to they, throw a tantrum. Because they showed they showed ahead of time that he said to Tony when they first went up into space, he was like, "If it comes down to you or that kid mm-hmm. or the Infinity Stone, I'm protecting the Infinity Stone. I don't care if you guys die." Yeah. And in that instance, he was like, I have to make sure Tony lives and mm-hmm. I have to give up the stone. So the only reason he would do that is if it's protecting all of them. Exactly. But even that being said, I have no fucking clue how they're going to get around to that happening, I which is it. great. I love it. I love it. Which is great. But I, I'm also like, I know people are going to complain if all of the deaths are retcon. So here's what right, I'm so thinking. Let's, let's, so here's the people who died before the end snap happens oh also um the gamora scenes with thanos great the gamora scenes with thanos were fantastic except for in that scene where she's taught where they're up there with red skull death uh she took way too long like i get it that she was supposed to be baffled because she doesn't think he loves anyone yeah, but yeah. she took way too long to get the hint of what was about to happen to right her. right yeah, yeah like she's a smarter character mm-hmm. than that to be like emotional though dude that's how uh, I took which it. i get but i'm yeah. like she knows thanos is ruthless so even if he mistakenly thinks he loves her even if he was wrong mm-hmm. he was gonna throw her off that cliff to find yeah, out yeah. <laughs> so even if it was nothing she was going off that cliff i feel like she just took too long to figure that part of it out and you know i feel like you know obviously if she had not been there he couldn't get the soul stone. he couldn't have done it so if he if he had said okay now i know how to get to the soul stone i'm gonna kill you i don't need you anymore and then he showed up there he'd have nothing so she was literally up there just to get thrown off cliff pretty much that being said with the soul stone, it said you're trading a life to get the soul stone. So to me, that means that's how she can come back. Yeah. It's, they don't it's know if that's the back. case for the thing at the end. So for now, let's say Heimdall died, Loki. Gamora died, Loki died. He got and he got Vision. Vision died as well. Vision. Vision turned gray, pale, white. Yeah, he. They, I. I felt like that yeah. was their version of it, but I'm also I'm still kind of bummed because no, no. I'm like, oh, I just want them to do the, the way. The way they explained one. Vision, how he's not all about the stone. Right. I reckon there's still right. A way, that's yeah. their that's their way to make him again. But I feel without like the stone, without what the stone. I want them to do is put something that's blue, yep. and he'll be a white version, yep. but it won't be the same vision that we knew. He'll be like a rebooted yep. version. He'll be so B- Vision 2.0. Wanda will be x Like, he won't remember yep. her. He'll but be Vision he'll be 2.0. Wise, which she will appreciate. Mm-hmm. Um, and be white. Let's just have him be white. <laughs> and I, I hope they do it, dude. Like white, silver, white with silver accents or something. Oh, it'd be so sick. Uh, it'd be so, even if it's white and gold. Yeah, be so I don't care. Just have the white whiteness. <laughs> In either case, so, right, so Vision, Vision, Vision Heimdall, Gamora, and Loki. 
they died before the the in-game snap happens. Gamora, I think there is a chance of getting her back due to the whole trade-off with Soulstone. Right. right. Loki, I don't know. I'm sure they can probably find a He's way. come but... back before, but I just really Not feel like... like... This seems like a death. Right. And, you know, and if it is, I, I'm like kind of fine with it because yeah. it was it was him redeeming himself. It was. It was fully his face turn. And and so, you know, it was he's his kind face of, turn. Full yeah. on. <laughs> right. It was and his so, full on. Like yeah, he, he he literally good to go that out. was the best way to go out. He went out right. doing he tried the right to thing. sacrifice yes. himself to save his brother. Yes. And and I feel like that's good enough for him. He mm-hmm. he should be toast. He's gotten to a pass for all the villains for oh, a yeah, long yeah. time. Absolutely. I get that girls love him, but we'll have plenty more characters that girls oh, love, I'm sure. Plenty, plenty more. And if you bring them back don't do it for like another decade. Have him, have him show up in Avengers like eight. Randomly. And he's like, hey, I'm alive again. Right, right. I'm back. But otherwise, don't, yeah, don't yeah. fuck with him. Hold off. Hold off on him. So, you know, Heimdall's I think gone. Uh, Heimdall's gone he's because gone. It's, it, it's expressly because they gave him a weapon that can access the Bifrost. So they literally made him obsolete yeah. by giving him a new weapon mm-hmm. that does his job. And, uh, and vision i think that the vision that we knew much he's like gone. the like root dying yep. and becoming baby root he's a different character but he's I feel still like him. that's going to be the same thing right. like vision is going to come back but he won't be the vision we knew he'll be a reboot of a like a computer wipe yeah um, yeah basically um but i feel like everybody we lost but from the, the snap, which, from which, the snap, was, which was, was a lot of people we uh, essentially we, lost, we lost black Hulk. panther yep. we lost spider-man uh, we lost a uh, majority Falcon. of the Guardians. We lost Bucky. We lost all the Guardians except, except for Rocket, Rocket and uh, Nebula. Yep, which was and, cool. Uh, uh, we lost Maria Hill. We lost Nick Fury. Nick Fury. Uh, who else did we lose in that um, snap? Falcon. We, yeah, Falcon was gone. Any other of the other new Avengers? We lost uh, Wanda. Got absorbed by it at the end as well. Yep, all yep. turned to ash. Spider-Man's one, which was like easily the most painful one. Like not only because I like him, but they like purposely let that one linger. Like he took way longer yeah, to yeah. turn to Ash than anyone else. He really just did. so he could like cling to Stark and be yeah. like, I don't want to go. I feel terrible. Yeah. I don't want to go yet. I don't want to die. Also, and then so just... Stark could look him in the eye and be like, I let this kid die. All the vanish, all, all those shots when they were just turning into dust right. was played off so well. It no was, music, and you know, that's, that's why, that's why, because no music, because I was just about to say, the thing that was great about that is they no had music. no score, so you're just listening to Dude, the just... silent, like, people walking around yep. and then fading away. And it's just, uh, it's it was haunting, it was like, it was. this is, this is like, they, they turn, but like, I mean, prior to that, you got the battle in Wakanda, Thor, was, was great. Thor was god level here. Oh yeah, he was OP when he showed up, which was great. Though. Which was, was great because cool I'm like, taking we actually, we're, yeah, well, like this is actually Thor. This is how this is what he should be like. Right, and you know, it was like an upgraded version of mm-hmm. what he was in the first Avengers movie. You know, he yeah. was fighting those big, you know, mo- uh, monoliths or whatever yeah, they yeah. called the big like centipede things the, the the flying whales yeah yeah you know he was he was taking those things mm-hmm. down but in this the stormbreaker he was flying through ships Dude, and it was destroying great. that weapon is yeah, ridiculous um the seeing cat huge, yeah. seeing cat and black panther running through the field that was that rad <laughs> yeah and i was like because at first you see black panther run mm-hmm. and then through the crowd you see like cap, cap catch up to yep. him and then they both like jump at the same yep. time and it's like like super whenever i see them run you know? really really fast like fast on uh-huh. everybody else i'm just like uh blonsky, blonsky did this like it was established he was, he then. was our first yeah it, he is why we see them do that now because exactly. that was so successful in that exactly. first movie they've repeated it, it was effective because essentially he was the first side of what you know what was like for us anyway so what a super soldier even though you know in in chronological order of the films Cap was, you know, years before. Decades he was before first, right? Yeah, but yeah. we didn't see Cap. Right, until exactly. After Blonsky, so seeing so... Blonsky like bloody, you know. Because I, I remember when we were when we had just seen Iron Man, we were like, man, if Cap fights like Blonsky fights, and I'm totally fine yep. with it because we hadn't even seen Cap nope. fight anyone yet. So like if it's like that, then yeah. I'm cool with it. That and was it, you know, it is essentially so. It's fine. You know, we've still never seen like a Cap 
Cap fight Hulk. No, we like haven't. We've seen, we've seen Thor fight him a couple times, but I was uh, like holding out in my heart. I was like, one of these times we're yep. gonna get to see it. And I thought for sure, when I thought it was gonna happen was Age of Ultron because that was the movie they were all together, and then Hulk goes nuts. I thought it was like maybe the whole team has to come together. Right. And stop. I still would uh, like to see that because that's one my. They did an uh, animated Avengers movie a while back yeah. that was based on the Ultimates comic. Mm-hmm. And they have a scene where they all fight Hulk. Like, the Avengers all fight Hulk. And it's got, like, Giant Man and stuff. And Hulk, like, jump and punches uh, Giant Man on the knee. And he, like, <laughs> like cracks nice. his knee or whatever. It's amazing. I love it. So I was like, oh, well, someday they're going to do that shit in live action. Until we go. <sighs> hopefully the characters it? will exist until then. One of these days. Yeah, one of these days. Hopefully. Because, you know, because I'd, I'd heard Ruffalo talking for a while. They said, like, okay, well, we can't give you your own movie, obviously. But if you were going to get your own movie, what would you want to do? And he said that he described something to Feige, and they basically decided to break that up into the next three films. Mm -hmm. So in the last one, we saw him stuck in the body of Banner, and or stuck in the body of Hulk Hulk. for a long time or whatever. And then they have this big fight, and he feels like maybe he can't change back. Yeah, yeah. And he gets stuck as the Hulk. And then in this movie, he gets stuck as Banner. He can't do it. So I'm wondering if in the next one, like, what was that third part? So I'm very much wondering if they will do a thing where they separate Banner from the Hulk somehow. So that they are, like, physically two separate guys. I don't know, man. I don't know what the, I don't know what the, what they would be going for with that, unless it was like a way to do like a planet Hulk thing. So Hulk is a separate entity that would go nuts or something. But I wonder if they're going to do something to separate them. Cause I'm like, what is the end game? What are these things that he thought they needed to break up into the next three movies? Unless it's like, whatever it is, it's going to be Hulk and Banner become actually one and he becomes smart Hulk. But he kind of already was dealing, like he was already on the road to that. He was in but, Ragnarok. He's right. already starting to learn. He I'm can talking speak about English like he is Banner it. inside Hulk. It could it could very well be that because that's a different I, story know. altogether. Like I'm sh- in Ragnarok, we got an intelli- we got a uh, a functional Hulk where he speaks and everything. Right, but we didn't but get he was still Banner like a level. Yeah, 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 we didn't get Banner level. Yeah, because it was like Banner Mr. level Fix-It Hulk. Yeah, essentially like Mister Mix. Yeah. If it's like I've, that, I've then... heard people speculating about us getting Red Hulk, but I just very much don't see them doing. Like I don't see them turning Ross Banner into a Red. I Hulk. don't want that. I mean, Gray and... Hulk makes more sense, but yeah, and they kind of flirted with that with Age of Ultron. Yeah, the which I kind of wish they pushed a little bit further. I, I do too. I wish they would have. Like they should have just tweaked to make him more gray. Just dull. He's they color said it out was, more. but they but they He's toned still... it back and yeah, whatever. They, but... they, it's almost like. You had, you know, you you didn't pull the trigger fully. You just right. I think it. they just thought people wouldn't get it or something. But it doesn't matter, man. But still, they pulled the trigger in this film. Shit. <laughs> oh yeah, they do. And you know, Grant. Okay, so, uh, you know, I've heard people talking about the uh, the stakes and them going like, well, obviously, all these people that got the snap are coming back because we know they've got movies coming out and yada yada, which is all fine. Yeah. But I'm like, you guys are you're. You're speaking from a perspective of somebody who we all are in the like loop. We're all trying to hear about all this stuff as it happens. We're talking about the news as it happens. The majority of the people, the people that make this movie come out to like 500 gajillion dollar weekends and stuff, they don't know any of that stuff. When they see that snap happen and all those characters disappear, they go, what does that mean? Black Panther just disappeared. This movie only just came out. They freak out. They don't know any of that stuff. The little kids that go to watch this, oh, they're not looking kids. it up on Wikipedia yeah, after. They're just going, Spider-Man died. Yeah. What is Spider-Man's mean? gone. Like, <laughs> right. they're gone. So, you know, and essentially, all that's left is the core team. The original right. core, essentially. Yeah. Essentially. And we did, we did talk about that, too. Yeah. Uh, I do remember right before this came out, we were talking about like who we expect to die. And I was like, I think I think Drax is going to go. Yeah. I think... I think uh, vision's gonna go and then we're like but you know we're thinking he's gonna do that snap what if tony's left alive a whole bunch of everyone else goes when the snap happens and then tony has to deal with that guilt Mm -hmm. and that's literally like what we got like granted the rest of the core avengers were there but none of them were with tony he was alone the only he was there with two strangers yeah he was there with two strangers on a foreign planet he's like 
he's got to use he's got to have nebula help him get back which is cool because <laughs> he's trapped somewhere which is cool because in his head he knows like the technology of earth and what he's capable of nebulous right. she's cyborg right Do you know what i mean essentially so he's yeah. He's basically dealing with something he's never dealt with, essentially, at this point. And she's she's the only one, I think, uh, and because Rocket was on the in the battle on Wakanda, I think she's literally the only one that was still there with him at the end of that battle. Because oh, he no, was no, just yeah. there with the Guardians and Spider-Man, and they yep. all faded away. So it was literally it's, just Essentially, it's, it's Tony and Nebula. That's the only ones that are left on time. Do you think that the next one will pick up right from where this one left off? Or do you think there will be, like, a time skip, skip of time? Yeah. And all right, here's the thing. Um, I don't, I, I don't even know if they can or if they will because we have two films prior to the next release. But Ant Man, we don't know where it yeah, yeah. takes place between Civil yep. War and Infinity War, so that movie could very well end with with the snap. a bunch of his main cast members disappearing because because we knew it couldn't happen after Infinity War yep. because too many of his supporting cast is still there. Yep, but with uh captain marvel that movie takes place in the 90s so none of the infinity war consequences have happened but i Where feel she been? like uh well we're gonna have to figure it out that's because the, that's the question cause, also because nick fury contacts her on a pager which i'm yeah. like okay i get it she's from but the 90s also why now why not because, when well, they attack he didn't, New he York? Didn't do it. He didn't do it until he started seeing everyone fade away. So obviously okay. he so was like, like oh, already, this is really dire. Yeah, already losing. Yeah, yeah. Like this I'm is incredibly hard. dire. This is not just like a guy's attack in New York. Right. So like you people know, are vanishing. <laughs> right. Right. So uh, maybe it's partly that. But to me, it's like, why a pager? Yep. I I get it. It looked like a modded pager. Like, it was like it, some, it was. It had yeah. lights and shit on. It was, it was like some like, yeah, some alien space yeah. or something. But it's still a pager. Cause nineties, bro. <laughs> which is fine. Yeah. But unless she's yeah. like literally trapped in the nineties and he is paging her in the past with some kind of weird time thing. Maybe she's out in space and that's all she had because after her film she boots. It's got space tech though. They gotta have something I get more it, than but a, 90, it's like... a modified nineties pager. Because it's like Peter Quill, like all his gadgets are like 80s video game stuff modified because he came from the 80s, which is fine, but I'm like, it didn't need to be that. Um, but with the pager thing, I'm just like, there's got to be a reason. Of if it's a t- if it's a time thing, that's really interesting to me. Like, because she can't go through time. I don't know. We don't We don't know. But something's going to happen in the Avengers 4 where they're back at the original Avengers battle, the one from 2012. Because we've seen Cap running around in the first Avengers outfit, and Ant Man is there for some reason, so we know that some kind of weird time travel thing is happening. Could be, we, could be uh, via Ant Man. I feel like it's it's more likely something tech based than it is the stone. Because oh no no, well that's what I mean. Like with Ant Man, with the whole uh, you know the sizing thing, how it basically breaks time and space. I mean, that, that's a lot of speculation is with the it quantum is, realm stuff. Yeah, the quantum realm but is just, like, it's this weird, weird thing. Right now, I'm just like, I don't know what it's going to be. That's why I love it. I love that we know nothing. Sort of weird time travel thing. I love that we know nothing. I love that, I love that we know nothing, but it's it's great. And, and even more so, I'm like, well, the speculation is fantastic because it ends up being nothing anyway because they're so good at bullshitting mm-hmm. these trailers that we're, they're having us speculate off of nonsense. Yeah until the movie comes out that's there why so it's, many it's crazy so many shots of like the hulk and wakanda and all this kind of crazy crap going on you're like none of that none of that when, was when thanos was uh, when cap was holding thanos's gauntlet he only had two gems yet in the film he basically right, he has all, had of them. all of them except the middle one you know right, right, right. so i'm like el thor with the with the eye patch and yet he was given um, glad you brought that up because that was one of my only gripes too with the Thor plotline yeah. was they kind of undid everything that was that happened in Ragnarok. Yeah. 
Because, that was like, my only it was like we got rid of the hammer just so that we could give him a new hammer mm-hmm. we got rid of his eye but then we gave him a, f- a fake eyeball so that Simonetti. he didn't have the eye patch i'm like just keep the eye patch it looked cool and yeah. from what i heard on set he didn't even have to wear a physical eye patch he just had dots yep. and they cg'd an eye patch onto it so if that's all you're doing just keep him with a fucking eye patch it looked cool yeah like yeah. In- instead we gave him a weird techie eyeball yeah. like why it was just so weird to like instantly undo that shit from last year. Right. And that's why it's a little bit bizarre because it's like that whole film was about discovering that you don't need the hammer. The power's in you, yet now you need the hammer. Right. Now he needs an even better yeah, hammer yeah. because so... this one's a god killer or whatever, which is fine. It, that's the, fine. the axe stuff was bad. I, 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 I find that neat as well because, you know, the, the weapon that you now wield is also. Uh, is created in the same area that the gauntlet itself was made in. So I get right. that link. Right. But I also feel like it would have been it would have been uh to if they kept all that the same, mm. but they had had one scene where we got to see uh Thor fight without the hammer. Right. Because... Just to see that that was still a thing. Yeah. Then it would it Cause... wouldn't have been as sour to like just fuck all that stuff Because the saw. intro scene the intro scene was he was owned already. We right, don't know right. how long that battle lasted, though, mind you. Right, but right. we know it took place in a ship and everything wasn't exactly. destroyed already. And, and half of the so, Asgardians are gone. He's right. destroyed. Hulk was... So I feel like that had to be a crazy battle. Oh, it had he, to be. If he killed all those people and Thor couldn't stop it and Hulk didn't even enter the fight yet. Nope. Yep, exactly. That's what I'm like, whatever had to be going on, right, it had to be Right, because it's like, nuts. we have a Hulk. It's like, so he was gone the whole time. That's what I was saying. Like, like was he weird? helping the other Asgardians escape? And that's like, why we, he only we can came make that there. up. Right. We can make that up. But until they tell us, we're just making it up. But that's why it's like, so, because the point of Ragnarok was Thor didn't need a hammer anymore and he's got the power himself. Exactly. Yeah, but, now yeah. it's like, oh, here is a stronger, uh, a tool, a stronger tool now. Right. And it, was, strong... it was still cool. It was dope. It was I love cool. that weapon. I think the weapon was ridiculous. Yeah, it was, it was ridiculous. The scene of him actually using it was fantastic to just watch. Just throwing like, it, and I just you just like, see it. This bumps, like watching him yeah, wreck dude. everything. Also, like I know, um, people are complaining about the fodder in uh, Avengers One, the Chitari, mm-hmm. right? The fodder here were like just crazy. I liked them I because liked they them, were yeah. crazy. Yeah, like yeah. I feel like their their pure like animalistic rage, even like though it was, it was a bunch of cloned things, mm-hmm. They're aliens, still, yeah. which people complain about. But because they were so like intensely yep. savage, the the stakes felt so much higher because they were literally losing to these things before Sh- Thor showed up. And also, it wasn't really like the whole with the Chitari. How I mean, we found that in the end of the Chitari, the the Avengers one where. You kind of close off the portal. Uh, you you kill one just, thing and yeah, they all die. Here it's like, nah, nah. All of them are just... Well, I'm curious about that too, though, because uh, at the end, when the snap happens, uh, when everybody's reacting to the bodies floating away, I'm not seeing any more of those monsters attacking everything. So I don't know if it was... I think they more... killed everybody at that point, though. Because prior, the... yeah, prior to the like snap, they were all... Already, like, M'Baku was already uh, celebrating that they were, like... Him and his men were looking around because they were all dead. Oh, okay. They essentially killed every single one of those creatures. And that's why that's when the snap impressive. happened, they started turning into dust. And it's like, what the? I'm like, oh, yeah, we thought we won. Yeah, it's like, they, wait, they did we get that moment, yeah. which was great, too, because they do get a moment now that even more so now that you're saying that because they get this moment of, of they won. Yeah, it's because like, they oh, destroyed all those yeah. things. And uh scarlet destroys the stone before thanos can get to it Love so that, like man that and was so like, good uh thor throws the yeah, storm dude, breaker right in the chest, him in the chest yeah. and like pushes it into mm-hmm. his head and he, or into his chest and he's like and you see his i told off, you i was gonna kill you and the you. gauntlet afterwards was like and his arm thanos's right. arm was like singed it was right it was all thing but that the singeing and the gauntlet yeah. being destroyed was, was from off, the yep, snap yep. But uh, but just the fact that they they had that moment mm-hmm. where Thor has we killed gotcha. Thanos, we killed all yep. the creatures, and we destroyed the stone in mm-hmm. time. But he had the time stone and undid it, and and hit that snap. And man, dude, just after I, the I just... snap, how Thor was basically like, "What did you do? Like, right. what did you do?" 
that moment I was just like, oh shit, what did he do? What are the, what's going on now? What's going to happen? Because <laughs> prior to that, like after, when he was asking what did he do, like what did right. you do? We didn't even start, only right after that, after Thanos basically peaced out, mm-hmm. then Bucky was like, st- like Steve. And yeah. that's when yeah. you started, yeah. yeah. Then he started that's when you started seeing him fade. And it's like, oh, what the? And then the rest of them, like, uh, Panther went to Okoye's, like, you know, right. you get up now. It's like, and this then is he, a, this is a place to die. Yeah, exactly. And then he just started, and then it's like, oh shit. And that's when they're all like, what the, like, the fuck <laughs> yeah pretty, pretty nanners man pretty nanners it definitely it, it it felt it felt uh good to to have a movie where you know after everyone complained about no stakes forever they go here's stakes or it's like when people complain just, oh you marvel's crappy villains nope oh uh, yeah i loved him man he, he uh, won he did everything he said he was gonna do yep. he even sat and watched the sunrise after i know which was like he got what he wanted yeah we only got one post credit and that it whole, cre- the, the whole and it was just the beeper scene just, but that was great but the end was credit great. was just like black screen writing right nothing fancy yeah nothing fancy no like crazy graphics no just black screen writing white text on black screen yeah it was pretty great it and was it, just like they didn't even put no they didn't even put no pop song it was nope. just score they literally had like two licensed songs in the whole movie because you know how they guardians? always have like a list of the songs the guardians the one song for guardians yeah. and black panther's theme yep. that was the only two licensed because yeah songs. when they went to wakanda you needed that right. that and that was good i was like that, that was the man. only two licensed songs in the whole thing the rest of it was all score like it felt like they really took it seriously also the score, I, was, I, phenomenal. I the score was fantastic yeah, Alan Silvestri did a great job. Yeah. Every they time they, every him. time they re dropped in the original Avengers theme, mm-hmm. felt so good. Like it just did do it. that every time because it felt so. It felt like legit. Like you know, none of the none of the superheroes really had those like real intensely specific to them theme songs. But the Avengers, I do one, still eventually want to hear. One is great. I want to hear Caps once more. Cause all right, I feel like they still they hint at it. They did yeah. in Civil War. And they stuff did. Too. I feel. I feel in four in the fourth one. I'm hoping. You think we're getting the fourth cap? No, 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 no fourth cap. I'm talking about the fourth Avengers film. Yeah. I'm thinking. All right, because it's the original team. I think yeah. this next film is going to be we're passing the torch on. We're going to get everybody. We're going to get who we can back. The main team's going to go. Do you think that the whole main team is going to die? Because I kind of think right now that we're just going to lose Cap and Tony. I think Tony and Cap. Thor's going to Thor's going to be alive. He's a god. Right, he can die. Obviously, you know they're not. He can, but not immortal. Like but I think he still has a lot more to do. Right, not on Earth anymore. He's not going to be one of the core members anymore. He's going to be right. Off. He'll, He'll come back every now and then. But I think I think Asgard yeah, or something. I think Tony, Tony and Cap going, and it's which I'm, sucks too because I'm like I could totally watch a thousand D more Cap movies. Oh yeah, absolutely. He's but awesome. I understand why they would want to yeah. move forward at the same time. And I mean Tony, I think it's I think he it's he suits dope. Question suits for you. Dope. What's up? Do you think we will see Hawkeye first in Ant Man, or do you think he will not show up till Avengers Four? Post see, here's my thing. Ant Man is next. Post credit mm-hmm. scene. It would be neat if we got all right. Say say if it what if it ends with the. With that, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and then we see the post thing. It'd be neat to see what happened with Hawkeye. Maybe he loses his family in the click. Right. That's why he's just he turns into who he is. Another question. What up? Because the last film we get before Avengers Four is is Captain Marvel, Captain Marvel mm-hmm. which is the introduction of the Scrolls. Oh. <laughs> I, I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, I am really. A scroll. That's what I'm saying. I I feel like the we're gonna get a tease that the the scroll. secret invasion is next. I don't think Avengers Four is secret no, invasion. No, I don't think it's no no. But you I have think to resolve we're gonna this lose one before you start the in one. this movie in Avengers Four. Will they turn green at the end? Shit. But who's it gonna be? I wonder. Shit. Um, Fury. Now, <laughs> I don't think so. I don't, I think, don't think so either. They can't. That's too, I, he's too close I to the do, core. 
to me right Hawkeye? now, most likely, no, I think most likely right now is uh, is Black Widow. That'd be great because having having uh, having the snap happen and Hawkeye uh, like mourning that or whatever. I feel like him rejoining the team, the most effective person to be turned into a scroll would be her because of his connection at, uh, to, or because of her connection to Hawkeye, who's now going to be Ronan. And his whole thing was discovering his, his uh, that his wife was part of the secret invasion. She was taken away. But I don't think they're going to do that with his wife because they were kind of, not, you know, they were kind of throwaway characters just for that scene. But I can't imagine them doing that to Nat his best friend yeah his best friend that he's had this long uh relationship that a we've history, seen happen because man. because we've seen a bunch of it mm-hmm. it it's way more effective for it to be her than it is for it to be his yeah. wife yeah yeah um oh, and uh and because electra is not in it she's in the tv thing yeah yeah that's fine i feel like it'll probably be her that's and right. you know she was she's like randomly blonde in this last one that'd be an easy thing who, to who, be else, like. who else would you pick or would you, uh, only, I, or would you I think, think one is enough? I think that if if it happens in if Avengers four, we're only going to see one person die and turn into a scroll because that's all they teased that's, with yeah. the original. Is Elektra died? She turned into a scroll, and nobody knew anything about. It. They didn't even do the invasion storyline for another year. That's crazy. So, so I feel scary. like scary. I kind of feel like that's kind of what's going to happen. As I feel like there, we're going to get teased that one person turning into a scroll, and we're just going to have to sit on that for a while. Until whatever the next big thing is, Avengers five or something will be Secret Invasion. Cool, um, but man, I'm I'm excited for everything leading up to that. And I, I, if it's not Nat, I can't think of who else it would be because I feel like it's got to be somebody who's been around since the beginning. And I feel like uh, because Maria Hill would be weird. I think Maria Hill would be weird and it wouldn't be as effective. It's it, well, got to yeah, be one of the That's mainly people. it because it wouldn't be as effective. Right. Um, it's got to be a core a core. It can't be Cap because that would be bull. Right. How about if it was uh, Winter Soldier? Uh, it could be, be Bucky. It could be Bucky. I just really feel like because... Because only the core Avengers were left, it's going to be one of the core Avengers. And I can't think Rhodey. of it being a better one than her. Could be Rhodey, but he's again, he's not a core. And he, uh, no, he did survive he at survived. the end. But I still, I still don't think it would be him, though. <laughs> it, could, it would explain his uh, actor change. Which would be hilarious. <laughs> we did talk about that, too. We did talk about it. <laughs> Although, <laughs> yeah. Like, find like original terrence howard yeah. they're like how the hell did you not notice yeah, exactly <laughs> <laughs> that would be clowning yeah that would be so funny that would be so he doesn't even look like me <laughs> <laughs> i'm light as shit yeah. he is black as fuck how did you not notice this tony seriously we've been friends for this long you didn't even realize <laughs> it's so funny dude. but widow would be good that would be like because it's because it would affect a lot. It wouldn't just affect Hawkeye. I mean, it'd affect Banner right. and a relationship. It would affect um, uh, well, she she worked for Tony for a while as well, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, Cap, they have a rela- a good. She's good been buddy, around buddy relationship. for a while. Yeah, yeah. She's been so. I feel like her, she would be That'd most be effective from the original. Oh, and because that's... I don't think it'll be Hawkeye because he's Ronan, I feel so, like it has to be. So Hawkeye. where would you see this? Not in the end of um. I feel like probably in the, the end of in four. the end of four. Like yeah, I feel like credit. somebody's gonna die, and we'll see like the body change in a post credit at four, oh, and everybody go like, "What the fuck?" or something like yeah. that, and that's that's kind of the end of it. Uh, well, at that point, Captain Marvel would be there. She's like, "Oh no, she'll know exactly." Yeah, right. What it she is. would know what it is, yeah, but yeah. you know, yeah. nobody else would have seen the scrolls, oh, but she'll be there. That'd be time. crazy because essentially it's like, oh, you, let's close one book, another one opens. Yeah, and with all like a whole new cast mm-hmm. basically because a bunch of those core guys are going to be gone. Because that would suck. And, guys. and so much of them. So you want even the so, so essentially th- three deaths. You're not going to know who's going to be a scroll. So three deaths. Uh, well, I think. Okay, it's more specifically, I think Cap and Tony are going to have to sacrifice themselves to get the other Avengers back. Yep, that's cool. I'm but okay with that. If other Avengers happen to die, 
I would not be surprised. If, but I think they have to go in order to get a bunch of those to get half the universe back eventually. Because because yeah. it's not just the other Avengers they're saving. They lost half of a universe. They're yeah. gonna try and correct that. Yeah, so, as in yeah, and Cap's Cap's such a good dude. Right. He's... And because I because Cap since the beginning he's been the guy that will throw himself on a grenade mm-hmm. to br- to to protect his people. And Tony, from the beginning, has been the guy that Cap said would not throw himself on a grenade mm-hmm. to protect his people. So I think they're going to do it together. Yep, yep. And that's how they become friends again. Right. They will also go together. Right. And then Black Widow will go and she'll turn into a scroll. And it's like, shit, it's never ending. <laughs> oh, no. They already, it's like. I... Now they've hooked us for another yeah. 10 years. Oh, I'm okay, though. I mean, so long as, you know, provided the world's still good. Right, and as long as they keep making them good, I'm not going to yeah. complain, man. Because people just... people love to hate and talk shit oh, about yeah. these movies. And be like, I hope they die, like James Cameron saying, I hope these movies die off or whatever. It's like, and nah, that's because, like, the Avatar, to me, got shit on by the Marvel franchise. Like, he's got all these Avatar movies he's trying it to make. It also doesn't now. help I that really you're taking like seven, seven, 17 years Right to do just to the next this, one, yeah, the next one, and then you Whereas say, "Oh, these but... guys are dropping universes every year." Yeah, it's been ten years and they've got <laughs> eighteen movies. Right, right. So, I mean, sure, there's you know, it's a it's a team working on it, but it's a team, and they're going off the of source material. Yes, they they're not just taking their source material from Pocahontas or Ferngully. Right, or just, yeah, they're not just remaking old tales right. and just switching it up with aliens. <laughs> which i'm okay I mean, with kind of are but which i'm not, okay with cat aliens. yeah yeah but I'm anyhow okay with just released it but this film Avengers was... infinity war was fantastic it was loaded dude can't wait for the next one can't wait for ant-man and the wasp check out that new trailer if you haven't great looks song aces. choice it, it looks, looks fantastic aces. it looks fun but I know it's not just going to be fun. There's going to be some serious shit going on in there. But I love the song choice. The It Takes Two was fantastic yeah. for the first the first co-titled yeah. superhero movie. Because um, Ragnarok for, wasn't co-titled, MC. even though essentially it kind of was as a film. Well, there's a lot more than just them. They had all kinds of right. people. Right. This that one shit. is just. It's literally um, just. This one is out. This one is a Batman and Robin mm-hmm. like they're. They're, they but go it's not together. Even, it's They're not even a hero psychic. Pack. It's a duo. Uh, yeah, I just well, it's, you know, yeah. Batman and Robin are a dynamic duo, man. They are. They are. They call him a sidekick, but Robin was always pretty damn That's capable. That's true. He was. He was very capable. <laughs> I like that. So anyway. um, I, and I'm in trial. I like that his buddies have like a legitimate job type. <laughs> it looks at least like... it looks like it. <laughs> Although, looks... like, if you looked at the shelf behind him, they had, like, box, like, stuff still in boxes and stuff, so I'm right, like, right. they probably don't know what they're doing, really. <laughs> but that's what's but great. But it looks a lot of fun. I loved uh, the scene of him, like, pushing the truck like a scooter. Yep. Uh, the only thing that was weird about that is when he flips around the other side to stop the truck, it starts, like, kicking up concrete behind him, like, yep. anime style. I'm like, he's just stopping a truck. He would just like burn rubber right. from his shoes. He wouldn't have to pull exactly. into the concrete like, to stop a truck. Yeah, yeah. A train. Okay. Sure. Right. Yeah, that's different. But a truck that's not even going full. I don't know. It's yeah. weird. Yeah, I, don't know. I don't think it needed all the concrete. It's more comical. This one looks more animated in terms of. Oh, yeah. The action yeah, yeah. looks cool. They're like phasing through stuff. Mm-hmm. Like uh, Wasp that has like a, a playoff of Deadpool, where she's fucking up everybody in the truck. Yeah, she looks good. They do good. their own version of that. Where she she's looks like good flipping. in that film, man. She looks great, man. Yeah. The movie looks fantastic. Uh, I know, like, people were talking about how it's like, how can you follow up Infinity War with Ant Man and the Wasp? But it's like, it's a palette. It's a palette changer. You have yeah. to refresh your palette. You can't just always do the same thing over and over. Yeah, and it's, you know. I think it'll be good. It'll be good to uh, to sh- shrink the story back down literally for yeah. a second, and uh, and just focus on a couple characters. Maybe have some lighthearted fun. Yep. Paul Red's character is a lot more lighthearted and fun energy. But there will and be aspects that get in fairly deep. Into I'm sure, but yeah. I but I just feel like the stakes. Sure, absolutely. again, I'm sorry that mm-hmm. I have to use these puns, but the stakes will be smaller, mm-hmm. which I think is better coming off of how huge this infinity war kind of thing was it also probably Uh, helps that this film probably takes place prior to what happens in the end of infinity war 
Oh yeah, I'm sure. Like I, I kind of feel like they'll go through the whole movie, and then the post credit for that movie will be the snap, and then a whole bunch of his people disappear. Yeah, I mean, like he's you know, Hope's dad maybe, or Hope's yeah. And then I, you know, I, I think Captain Marvel comes out beginning of next year. Yeah. So you know, they said it was Captain Marvel, and then I think it was like six, like six weeks after that is Avengers. Yeah, because I think Captain Marvel, I think, comes out in March, and Avengers comes out in May. Yeah. So it's literally a month and a half. Yeah, because yeah, they, about, they say six months after it comes out, and I'm like, oh, six, six, six weeks. weeks, six weeks. And I was just like, oh, my goodness, that's yeah. crazy. But, you know, Captain Marvel saw it's going to be so different because it's 90s and yada yada that, you know. But Looking anyway. forward to it, man. Don't know what to expect. Movie was fantastic. Was. Can't wait to see the next one. Hopefully we can do the next Chipper Chap another drawing one. Pretty sure, sure. Time wise, yeah. hopefully it works. Uh, we'll, we'll figure have something to, like, out. Grab some new anything's or just talk whatever. So yeah, until the next one, guys. Stay Chipper Chaps.